हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच संतोष प्रभु फॉर काइंडली इंट्रोड्यूसिंग मी थैंक यू करुणा चैतन्य प्रभु फॉर काइंडली इनवाइटिंग मी टू स्पीक ऑन दिस मोस्ट वंडरफुल टॉपिक ऑफ कुंती स्तुति एंड बिफोर आई बिगिन आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट परमिशन सो दैट आई कैन रिकॉर्ड ऑन माई कंप्यूटर सो इफ इट इज पॉसिबल टू गिव परमिशन टू रिकॉर्ड यस प्रभु एब्सोल्युटली we can record from uh, yes can you hear me yes yes thank you very much all right so it says please ask the host to give you permission to record oh okay sorry um let me i was trying to make you host proof for some reasons zoom is not allowing me okay. um, let me try one more time anyway so uh, uh, please try meanwhile i would like to thank all the members who are present here for uh, so kindly agreeing to be here today giving me your most valuable time uh, santosh prabhu i hope i am clearly audible there is no background noise uh, absolutely clearly audible loud and clear prabhu no absolutely no background thank noise you. thank you so much prabhu so my sincere thanks to all of you who are present here today as the audience i always said this that between the speaker and the audience it is the audience that is much more important because on a particular day it may so happen that the speaker doesn't turn up so on that day somebody else may be selected as the speaker but if on a particular day the audience doesn't turn up then we will have to call off the program so this certainly proves that between the speaker and the audience the audience is more important today all of you are present here as the audience my sincere thanks to all of you for kindly being present here today today we have to speak on kunti maharani's prayers it is shishd parampara it is the tradition set by the previous great acharyas that every event should be commenced with mangal acharan or auspicious prayers so today i am going to speak on kunti maharani's prayers and i am going to speak on them by referring to the commentary of shrila shridhar swami shrila shridhar swami is the commentator who was very dear to the heart of shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu so today we will be discussing kunti maharani's prayers from this particular commentary but before that we will perform mangala charan most of us already know these verses so you can kindly sing along with me om akyana timirandhasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshurun militam yena tasmai shri gurave namah श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले सोयं रूप कदाम दधाति स्वदंति वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीऊप सागर जात सह गण रघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साइत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्री राधा कृष्ण पादगणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता नम ओं विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय दे कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य रामणे गौरत्षे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपि कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी साधे वृंदावनेश्वरी प्रसभासुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय पांचा कल्पतरुद्ध कृपा सिंधुभ्य पदिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम ज 
जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की जय श्री प्रभुपा की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव जन की जय हरे कृष्ण सो थैंक यू वेरी मच वंस अगेन डियर करुणा चैतन्य प्रभु संतोष प्रभु थैंक यू सो मच फॉर काइंडली इनवाइटिंग मी हियर टुडे to speak something on mother kunti's prayers and before i begin to say something i would also like to say that uh, uh, it is my great honor and privilege to be speaking something on these prayers because it is often said in english literature it is often said ladies first the ladies first means in all auspicious uh, activities ladies should go first and therefore even in shrimad bhagavatam when it comes to glorifying the lord amongst all the glorifications the glory the first glorification is by a vaishnavi named maharani kunti so maharani kunti's glorification occurs in the 8th chapter of the first canto of shrimad bhagavatam this is verse number 17 onwards and verse number 17 onwards describes what happened after all the pandavas were saved from the brahmastra weapon of ashwatthama because previous chapters were describing that ashwatthama he wanted to kill all the pandavas and although he had managed to kill their sons but ashwatthama also wanted to kill all the pandavas as well as ashwatthama also wanted to kill parikshit but by the mercy of bhagwan shri krishna ashwatthama could not kill the pandavas ashwatthama could not kill maharaj parikshit so once ashwatthama's brahmastra failed in targeting the pandavas something happened so what happened this is described in the 8th chapter verse 17 onwards the verse is in front of us i will try to explain all the verses with the commentary of shrila shridhar swami ब्रह्मतेजो विनिर्मुक्त आत्मज ही सह कृष्णया प्रयाणाभिमुख कृष्ण इदम आह पृथा सती पृथा इज द नेम ऑफ कुंती तो पृथा सती पृथा वॉज अ वेरी चेस लेडी शी सो प्रयाण आभिमुख कृष्ण शी सो कृष्ण who was prayan abhimukha who was about to depart to dwarka so along with her sons atmajaihi along with her sons she went sah krishnaya and along with her daughter so along with her daughter in law that is krishna that is draupadi and along with her sons atmajaihi who were brahma tejo vinir mukta vinir mukta who were freed from brahma tej from the fire of the brahmastra weapon of ashwatthama so along with those sons who were freed from the brahmastra and along with draupadi pritha sati maharani kunti idam aah said this to prayan abhimukham krishna to that krishna who was about to depart prayan abhimukha means he is about to depart to dwarka so shridhar swami simply says krishna ya sah so he points out this krishna ya sah means along with draupadi very simple verse so what did maharani kunti say along with draupadi and the five pandavas now here in begins our stuti kunti vacha नमस्ते नमस्ते 
ईश्वर प्रकृति परम अलक्ष्यम सर्वभूता अंतर बहिर अवस्थित सो वेरी सिंपल नमस्य कुंती उवाच नमस्य नमस्य मीन्स आय ऑफर माय ओबेसेंसेस टू यू सो इज पुरुषम हु इज द पुरुष द ओरिजिनल पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड टू आद्यम हु इज द ओरिजिनल वन इन द यूनिवर्स हु इज ईश्वरम हु इज द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड प्रकृते है परम हु इज बियॉन्ड मटीरियल एनर्जी बियॉन्ड प्रकृति and alaksham sarva bhutanam sarva bhutanam and for all living entities alaksham he is inconceivable although antar bahir avasthitam he is situated antar inside bahir outside everywhere avasthitam he is situated although he is situated inside and outside everywhere in the universe still he is alaksham he is not perceived inconceivable कनिष्ठमस्कोष्ठंगर टू यू kanishtha i am younger to you mam katham namaskaro shri why do you offer your pranams to me o kunti tatra ah in reply to this kunti says you are adyam purusham you are the original personality of godhead in this universe kuta how how am i the original personality of godhead prakrite he par because you are the only one who is beyond material nature everybody in the universe is born after material nature has been activated but you were active even before and you have transcended it so you are transcendental to material nature therefore you are the original personality tatkuta how is that huh? how is that i have you know i am beyond the material nature because in reply she says ishwaram What does Ishwaram means? Prakriti rupi niyantaram. You are the niyanta. You are the controller even of that prakriti. Therefore, you are transcendental to that prakriti, to that material energy. Ata eva and therefore Kunti Maharani says, Sarva Bhuta Nam Antar Bahischa Purnatve Na Avastita. Therefore, for Sarva Bhuta Nam, for all living entities, Antar Bahischa within them, outside them. पूर्णत्व अवस्थित यू आर कंप्लीटली सिचुएटेड इन कंप्लीटनेस यू आर सिचुएटेड तथा अलक्ष्यम स्टिल यू आर इन कंसीवेबल टू ऑल ऑफ दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द प्रेयर वेरी वेरी नाइस प्रेयर श्रील श्रीधर स्वामी से त्र हेतु नाउ व्हाट इज द रीजन दैट ही इज इन कंसीवेबल तत्र हेतु द रीजन फॉर दैट इज डिस्क्राइब्ड इन द नेक्स्ट वर्स माया जवनी का छन्नम अज्ञाधोक्षजम व्ययम न लक्ष्य से मूढ़ दृशा न टो नाट्य धरो यथा माया जवनी का आछन्नम माया इज जवनी का माया इज दैट एनर्जी व्हिच कवर्स एवरीथिंग सो आछन्नम यू आर कवर्ड बाय योर योग माया therefore agya i am ignorant she is calling herself agya so i am ignorant so therefore how can i know you know you who is adhokshajam adhokshajam means who is beyond the purview of the material senses avyayam who is unchangeable how can i recognize you it's not possible na lakshya se mood drisha nato natya dharo yatha then she says not only me na lakshya se you cannot be perceived by mood drisha by those materialistic minded people those foolish people just as natah a dressed up actor natya dharo who is performing you know a dramatic act cannot be recognized very easily yatha 
Similarly, you also cannot be recognized as the supreme personality of Godhead by those less intelligent materialistic people because they cannot see beyond the covering of your yogi maya. So, maya javanika chinnam, you are covered by your yoga maya, agya, therefore an ignorant person like me, Kunti says, adokshajam avyayam, cannot see you, you know, who is beyond the purview of the senses and who is unchangeable. Not only me, na laksha se, you know, also cannot, some people cannot understand, who cannot understand, moda drisha, the materialistic foolish people, Cannot understand. Nato Natya Dharo Yatha. Just as an expert actor who is playing his part in a drama cannot be you know, understood easily by the audience. So Sridhar Swami says, Tatra Hetuhu. So in the previous verse, he was spoken to be inconceivable. What is the cause? Tatra Hetu. The cause is mentioned. Maya Javanika Achannam. So Sridhar Swami breaks down this entire term. Maya Javanika Achannam. He says, Mayaiva Javanika Tiraskarini. Maya herself is Javanika, which means Tiraskarini. She is the, um, she camouflages or she hides the Supreme Lord. Taya Achannam. By him, by that Maya, he is covered. Pratichannam, completely covered. Ato Aham Agya. Therefore, Kunti Maharani says, I am Agya. Agya means ignorant. Shridhar Swami explains Agya as Bhakti Yoga Anabhikya. I am unaware of the principles of Bhakti Yoga. Therefore, Kevalam Namasyami. From the previous verse, he takes Namasyami. Namasya. So, therefore, once again, I offer my obeisances to you. I can't do anything else. I cannot understand you. Therefore, Kevalam Namasyami. I simply pay my obeisances to you. Then, you are, because you are Adhokshajam. What is Adhokshajam? Shridhar Swami explains the meaning of the term Adhokshajam. Adhaha Akshajam Indriyajam Gyanam Yasmat. So Adhaha below lies Akshajam Indriyajam, knowledge born out of senses, Gyanam. So the knowledge which is born out of materialistic senses lies much below him. Therefore, he is known as Adhaha. Uh, below lies akshajam, materialistic knowledge from whom that person is known as adah akshajam, adah akshajam. So that personality uh, who is much superior to uh, sense perception, that personality below whom all sense perception lies, that personality is adah akshajam. Avyayam, because he is also glorified as avyayam. Na vyeti iti avyaya. He who never changes is known as Abhyaya. Abhyayam Aparichinam. Which means he is you know, not limited to any uh, space. He doesn't have any space-time constraints upon him. Eternally unchanging. Tat Prapanchaha. Now she explains slightly in slighter, in greater detail. Whatever she has explained. Adhokshajam, Abhyayam. So you are inconceivable, you are unchangeable, she explains. Modha, Modha Drisha, Deh Abhimani Na. So, Modha Drisha means those who are Deh Abhimanis, those who consider themselves as the body. Pumsa Na Tvam Laksha Se. By such individuals, you cannot be understood. In the next verse, she says, now, question arises, if Krishna cannot be understood by the materialistic people who consider themselves as the body. And for what purpose has Krishna appeared? If Kunti, you cannot understand. If the materialistic people cannot understand. Then for whom has Krishna, for what purpose and for whom has Krishna appeared? So Kunti Maharani says, Tatha parama hamsanam muni nam amalatmanam bhakti yoga vidhana artham kartham pashe mahistriyaha Tatha, but still, Paramahamsanam, for those who are Paramahamsas, Muninam, for those sages, Amal Atmana, those who have Amal, extremely pure Atma, consciousness, for Bhakti Yoga Vidhanartham, for bestowing Bhakti Yoga unto them, you have appeared. So, Katham Pashyema Hi Striyaha, 
so how can certainly how can we you know, ladies who are not paramhansas who are not munis who are not amalatmas how can we see because you have appeared only for those who are paramhansas who are completely purified at heart so shridha swami says kim chak moreover paramhamsa naam atma anatma viveke so for those who are paramhamsas uh, for atma anatma viveke so for those who are able to distinguish between you know what is atma what is anatma for those people and bestowing bhakti unto them you have appeared he striya certainly how can we ladies you know perceive you because we are not paramhamsas we are not munis so kunti maharani is comparing herself to an ordinary materialistic lady although she is a great vaishnavi and she is directly perceiving shridhar swami then says gyana bhakti yoga shakyatvam uktva now shakyatvam now having said that you are possible to be attained only through gyana yoga and bhakti yoga punah kevalam namaskaroti again once again she simply offers her obeisances krishnaya iti dwabhyam dwabhyam means through two verses verse 21 and the next verse 22 beginning with krishnaya so let's sing this verse krishnaya vasudevaya devaki nandanaya cha nanda gopa kumaraya govindaya namo namaha so there is a sequence in this verse krishnaya krishnaya means unto bhagwan shri krishna unto the general supreme personality of god head then slightly more intimate vasudevaya unto the son of vasudev then slightly more intimate devaki nandanaya cha unto he who is the son of devaki then even more intimate vrindavan nanda gopa kumaraya unto the son of the cowherd named nanda and most intimate govindaya unto the pleaser of the senses of all the vrajivasis so unto govinda namo namaha my repeated obeisances so nice verse once again another verse as shridhar swami says two verses in glorification of krishna so next verse namaha pankaj nabhay namaha pankaj malini namaha pankaj netraya namaste pankaj angraye namaha obeisances there are namaha 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 four times namaha and the names four names of krishna have been discussed so namaha means obeisances unto and then shridhar swami explains what is pankaj nabhaya pankajam nabhau yasya lotus is within whose navel that lotus naveled person is pankaj nab so unto that lotus naveled person my obeisances namaha pankaj malini pankaj malini pankajanam mala asti yasya who has a garland of lotus flowers is known as pankaj malini uh, obeisances unto the personality who has a lotus garland namaha pankaj netraya so what is pankaj netra pankaj vat prasanne netre yasya so just like a lotus who has just like a blooming lotus he has also blooming uh, happy eyes so that is pankaj netra namaste pankaj angraye what is pankaj angri so pankaj pankaj ankitav angri yasya tasmay he who has his two feet marked with the signs of lotus so angri means lotus a uh, feet and pankaja means marked with a lotus so he who has his feet marked with lotus flowers he is known as pankaja angri so obeisances to you very simple verse but very profound meaning then shridhar swami says tat kritopakaran anusmarati so all the favors which krishna had bestowed krita upakara anusmarati she remembers again yatha iti dwabhyam beginning with the verse yatha dwabhyam two verses so 23rd and 24th she is recollecting all the favors that krishna bestowed upon her and her sons 
यथा ऋषिकेश खले न देव की कम से न रुद्धा चिरम सुचार पिता विमोचिता हम च सहात्म जा विभो थे न मुहुर विपद गणा सो यथा ऋषिकेश ओ ऋषिकेश ओ कंट्रोलर ऑफ ऑल द सेंसेस ओ कृष्ण यथा जस्ट एस खले न बाय दैट रफियन कंस जस्ट एस खले न कंसे न बाय दैट रफियन कंस वॉट वॉज वॉट हैपन देवकी एट पुअर देवकी रुद्धा शी वॉज इम प्रेजेंट एंड अति चिरम फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम शी वॉज इम प्रेजेंट शुचा अर्पिता एंड शी वॉज थ्रोन इन टू डिजेक्शन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो ओ ऋषिकेश जस्ट लाइक देवकी वॉज यू नो ट्रबल्ड बाय कम्स इम प्रेजेंट बाय कम्स एंड थ्रोन इन टू डिजेक्शन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम विमोचिताहम च सहात्म चा विभो वॉज आय ऑल्सो पुट इन टू सच डिजेक्शन नो ऑन द अदर हैंड विमोचिता हम आई वॉज फ्रीड सह आत्मजा अलॉन्ग नॉट ओनली मी अलॉन्ग विथ माय सन्स विभो ओ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड वय इव नाथ एन बाय यू ओनली ओ लॉर्ड मुहूर नॉट वन्स बट अगेन एंड अगेन विपद गणाथ यू सेव डस फ्रॉम ऑल द विपद फ्रॉम ऑल द कैलामिटीज अगेन एंड so although devaki could not be saved from the various calamities she had to experience prolonged suffering but i was freed again and again by you and only you from all these difficulties so i am arth shridhar swami says this is the meaning what is the meaning matritopi mai adhika tava preeti actually even more than your mother you have affection in me <laughs> this is what she is explaining in this verse tathahi for this reason hey rishikesh oh controller of senses yatha devaki just as devaki kamse na ruddha was imprisoned by kamsa twaya vimochita eventually she was freed aham cha tathaiva kim vimochita was i freed in the same way iti kaku she is asking a rhetoric question kaku asking a rhetorical question no obviously not mahan vishesha ukta there is a big speciality in my case big difference in my case tam darshayati what is the big difference she is showing sa ati chiram ruddha she was in prison for a long time sati tasmad eva sakrid vimochita and then she was once she was liberated तथा शुचार पिता चती एंड देन शी वॉज एक्सपीरियंसिंग प्रोलॉन्ग द सफरिंग न च तस्या पुत्र रक्षिता इवन हर सन्स वर नॉट प्रोटेक्टेड बट माय सन्स वर प्रोटेक्टेड अस्ति च अन्य नाथ तस्या ऑब्वियसली शी हैड अनदर पर्सन एज हर प्रोटेक्टर दैट इज वसुदेव बट अहम तू विपद गणा तथापि मुहू but i was saved from vipad gana many calamities tathapi muhu shigram cha and i was saved repeatedly and very quickly sa atmaja cha tvayai vachana thena and i was saved along with my sons only by you o oh dear lord so this is the great difference between me and devaki so pandi maharani is indicating that i am dearer to you even than your own mother therefore please don't go away and stay with us don't go to dwarka shridhar swami says vipad ganam eva darshayati so she is recalling all the difficulties that she faced vishan magne he purushad darshanat asat sabhaya vanavas prachratah mridhe mridhe ne kamaharatha astrato dravani astratas chasma hare virakshita Vishat, from the poison you saved Bhima, because Bhima was once poisoned by Duryodhan. Mahagni, you saved us from the great fire, you know, which was arranged by the Kaurav, by Duryodhan and the Kauravas. Purushad, Darshanat, Darshanat, you saved us from the eating. You saved us from getting eaten by Purushad, the man-eating demon Hidimba, and many other demons. Asat Sabhaya, you saved Draupadi from the Asat Sabha, from the uh, the 
great court of you know uh, evil people such as the kauravas asat sabha you saved draupadi from that assembly of kauravas vanavas krichratah and you saved us from krichra many difficulties encountered during one of us during our forest stay once durvasa muni came so you saved us from that so you saved us from many difficulties during our forest stay one of us mridhe mridhe in each and every battle anek maharath astrato pro anek maharath you saved us from many maharathas who is maharathas who is a maharath uh एको दश सहस्राणी योधये दियस्तु धन्विनाम शस्त्र शास्त्र प्रवीणस्य महारथ इति स्मृत सो अस इफ अ पर्सन कैन साइमल्टेनियसली फाइट 10000 बौमेन एंड इज एक्सपर्ट इन ऑल वेपन्स दैट पर्सन इज नोन एज महारथ सो महारथ अस्त्र तो मृधे मृधे अनेक महारथ इन ईच एंड एवरी बैटल यू सेव्ड अस फ्रॉम द वेपन्स ऑफ सो मेनी महारथस एंड फाइनली द्रौणी अस्त्रतस्य you saved us from the big weapon of drauni of ashwathama cha asma we were saved are abhirakshita we oh hari we were completely saved only because of you so sridhar swami explains the various difficulties vishat you know, from the poison poison means bhimasya vishamodaka dana you know vishamodaka so duryodhan had given a laddu a laddu filled with poison so krishna you saved bhishma bhima from that not bhishma bhima mahagne hai jatu grihad dahar you saved us from the house made of lac purusha purusha da hidimbadayo rakshasa stesham darshana so purusha da man eaters there were various rakshasas such as hidimba etc stesham darshana you saved us from being eaten by him asat sabhaya dyut sthana you saved us from that you know sabha that court of kauravas where dyut where gambling was going on abhirakshita means abhito rakshita asma abhava abhavama so you saved us from all those places successfully nen kunti maharani speaks this prayer my guru maharaj shri shri mad radha govind das ko swami maharaj says that this is the most important prayer spoken by maharani kunti vipadah santu tah shashvat tatra tatra jagat guru bhavato darshanam yatsya da punar bhav darshanam vipadah santu may all these calamities ताह में ऑल दिस कैलेमिटी शश्वत संतु कम अगेन एंड अगेन व्हाई बिकॉज जगत गुरु ओ गुरु ऑफ द यूनिवर्स तत्र तत्र व्हेनेवर वी फॉल इनटू दोस कैलेमिटीज इन ऑल दोस प्लेसेस भवतो दर्शनम स्यात बिकॉज ऑफ व्हिच वी विल गेन योर दर्शन यत एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट अ पुनर्भव दर्शनम वी विल नेवर सी भव और द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड अगेन so let all those difficulties come again and again because i am for sure i, I am 100% certain that you will save us again and again and on that pretext we will have your darshan and because we will have your darshan we will no longer see the material world so that's what she is trying to say so shridhar swami says yat yatsu vipatsu in all those calamities ki drisham darshanam we will get your darshan but what is the nature of that darshan nasti punarapi bhava darshanam yasmat and because of that darshan we will never have bhava darshan darshan of the material world such is your darshan then shridhar swami says sampadas tu shreyah paripanthinya ityah so sampada in the previous verse she was saying saying about vipada calamities sampada opposite of calamity is prosperity sampadas tu prosperity however is shreya paripanthinya it is the great these prosperities are great enemies of ultimate benefit prosperities are great enemies of krishna bhakti iti aha so this is being said in the current verse janmaishwarya shruta shrihir edhamanamadah puman naivarhatya bhithatum vai 
वाम किंचन गोचरम जन्म ऐश्वर्य श्रुत श्रीभि एधमान मद कुमान अ पर्सन हूज मद हूज इंटॉक्सिकेशन एधमान इज इंक्रीजिंग ड्यू टू फोर रीजन जन्म हाई बर्थ ऐश्वर्य हाई ऑप्युलेंस श्रुत हाई नॉलेज श्री हाई प्रॉस्पेरिटी और हाई नो गुड लुक्स सो बाय दीज फोर थिंग्स ए धमान मद कुमान अ पर्सन हूज प्राइड इज इंक्रीजिंग नईव अर्हति इज नॉट केपेबल ऑफ अभिधातुम वही ट्वा इज नॉट केपेबल ऑफ इवन अटरिंग युअर नेम यू आर ओनली अकीम चिन्ह गोचर यू आर ओनली अवेलेबल टू दो पोजेस नथिंग a kinchana you you know those who have nothing gocharam you only become accessible to them so janma means satkule janma means taking birth in a high family lineage janma dibhir edhamano mado yasas by all these high family lineage you know good prosperity learning beauty edhamano mado yas somebody that person's pride goes on increasing सच अ पर्सन अभी धातु इवन ही के नॉट अटर युअर नेम श्री कृष्ण गोविंद वक्तुमेंट इवन से श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे के नॉट से वाई बिकॉज युअर अकिंचन गोचर अकिंचना गोचर विषय भूत बिकॉज यू आर विषय भूत यू बिकम एक्सेबल टू देंसेस ओनली ऑफ दो आर अकिंचन पेनीलेस पीपल दो नथिंग इन लाइफ सो प्रस्तुत श्रीधर स्वामी से नेक्स्ट प्रस्तुत मनोरथ पूरणा पुनः प्रणमति सो प्रस्तुत मनोरथ शी हेज एक्सप्रेस सम मनोरथ सम डिजायर दट यू नो लेट मी हेव कैलामिटीज अगेन एंड अगेन लेट मी बिकम कंप्लीटली फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल दीज प्रोस्पेरिटीज यू नो बिकॉज वी आर अवेलेबल ओनली टू दोज हू हैव नथिंग विद दैम पुनः प्रणमति इन ऑर्डर टू फुलफिल हर प्रेयर शी वंस अगेन praying even more namo kinchana vittaya nivritta guna vrittaye atma ramaya shantaya kaivalya pataye namah namo akinchana vittaya nama obeisances to akinchana vitta who is vitta who is only wealth he is akinchana he is penniless devotees <laughs> he is completely you know spiritualized non materialistic devotees are his with are his only wealth namaha obeisances to nivritta guna vrittaye nivritta guna vritte means from whom all the you know four uh, all the three aims of life dharma artha kama uh, have completely gone away all the materialistic goals of life have completely gone away atma ramaya who is self satisfied shantaya who is free of attachment and repulsion kaivalya pataye namaha and who is the lord of all liberation so shridhar swami says he is explaining akinchana vittaya first what is the meaning of akinchana vittaya akinchana bhakta eva vittam sarvasvam yasya tasmay so he who has only his proper devotees whose you know penniless devotees are his only wealth is the wealthless devotee that is only wealth <laughs> that is akinchana vitt so and to him my pranam tatah kem what more you know niv nivritta guna vritta yes so he is she's explaining the term nirvritta guna vritti nivritta guna vritti nivritta gone away are guna vrittis guna vrittis means dharma artha kama vishaya yes my all the three materialistic aims of life dharma artha and kama have completely being driven out from his existence from by him so and that person tatkutah so what more describe more atma ramaya he is self satisfied tatkutah what more shantaya ragadi rahitaya he is free from attachment and repulsion kimcha moreover kaivalya pataye kaivalyam datum samarthaya so kaivalya pati means he is capable of bestowing all liberation obeisances unto you Who has all these 
adjectives attached to your existence. Next, she says, no, uh, Shridhar Swami says, Nanu Devaki Putram Maam Katham Evam Stoshi. I am Devaki Putra. No? I am the son of Devaki. Maam Katham Evam Stoshi. Why do you glorify me in that way? So she says, Manye Tvam Kalam Ishanam Anadinidanam Vibhum Samam Charantam Sarvatra Bhutanam Yanmitam Kalihi. So she says, Manye. I don't consider you as the son of Devaki. Manetvam Kalam, I consider you as the supreme time. Ishanam, the supreme controller. Anadi Nidhanam, without beginning and end. Vibhum, all powerful. Samam Charantam Sarvatra, and you are equipoised everywhere. But still, Bhutanam Yan Mithakali, still people don't see you in an equipoised way. And therefore, you know, they fight with each other. So, Sridhar Swami explains. Manyetvam Kalam, Natu Devaki Putram. I consider you as Kal, as time personified, not the son of Devaki. Tatra Hetava, what is the reason that you see me as time? Because you are Ishanam, you are the controller, Niantara. And Anadi Nidhanam. Anadi Nidhanam means Adi and Adi Antashunyam. You are without beginning and end. And Vibhum, Vibhum means Prabhu, you are the Lord. And Samam Charantam Sarvatra. Samam Yatha Bhavati Tatha Sarvatra Charantam. Sarvatra Charantam. You are you're walking everywhere. You know, you are present everywhere in a very equipoised manner. Question. Nanu Partha Sarathe Katham Mama Samyam. But I am the charioteer of Arjuna. I did not become the charioteer of Duryodhan. So how can I be equipoised everywhere? Yad yatas tvatto nimitta bhuta dhuta nayam eva mitha kali kalo bhavati. Because of you, living entities fight with each other. Na tu swatas tvai vaishamyam. You, within yourself, you don't have any biased nature. You are equipoised. You are not biased. But seeing you in different, different ways, the living entities create quarrels with each other. Next verse. Sridhar Swami first gives the introduction. Nanu nigraha anugraha rupa rupam mai prasiddham vaishamyam. Well, nigraha anugraha. On some people, you know, I bestow my anger like on Duryodhan. Anugraha. On some people, I bestow my mercy. You know, on Shishupal, I bestowed my anger. On Pandavas, I bestowed my mercy. Mai prasiddham vaishamyam. My bias nature is confirmed. It is known so well. Therefore, Kunti says, Na Veda Iti. This verse she says, Na Veda Karche Bhagavam Chikir Shritam, Taveha Manas Yendranam Vedam Banam, Na Yasse Karche Daito Ustikar Hichit, Vishas Chayasmin Vishama Matir Nranam. Na Veda Karche Bhagavam Chikir Shritam. Nobody actually knows, Bhagavan, what do you desire? Taveha Manas, in all your activities, nobody knows. What you design. Renam Vidambanam. It is extremely confusing to all humans. Why? Because Nayasya Kaschit Dayitosti. There is nobody dear to you. Karhichit Vishascha. And there is nobody en whom you envy. But still, Yasmin Vishama Matir Renam. But still, other people love you or envy you. But you don't love or envy anyone in particular. So, Shridhar Swami explains, Nidam Vidambanam Anukaranam Iha Manasya So you are acting just like an ordinary human being. But yes means Svai Vishama Matir Anugraha Nigraha Rupa Bhavati. And they, they, because you are acting like an ordinary human being, other humans either favor you or dislike you. Otherwise, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, you neither dislike anyone nor you like anyone so much. You are equipoised towards everyone. So, for this reason, you know, even though as a human, seeing you as a human, people may think that you are favoring someone or you are going against someone. But actually, you are not doing that. Therefore, she says, and then she elaborates more. Janma karma cha vishwatman ajasya karturatmanah teryang rishishu yadahasu tadatyanta vidambanam Janma karma cha your birth, your activities. Oh, Vishwatman, 
O soul of the universe, Ajasya, you are unborn, Akartur, you are not the doer, Atmanha, all these birth and activities, because you are not, you don't take birth, you don't carry out activities, but still you are Janma, you are taking birth and your activities are still seen. And they are seen in which species? Tiryang, in the animal species, Nri, in the human species, Rishis, Shu, amongst the sages, Yadahasu, even amongst the aquatics, Tad Atyanta Vidambanam, they are extremely confusing to the conditioned soul. So, Te Ajasya Janma, Sridhar Swami says, you are unborn, but you are birth. And Akartuhu Karma, you are not the doer of any materialistic acts, but still you seem to be doing. Uh, it is, you know, very confusing to the conditioned souls. So in what all forms do I take? Tiryakshu, amongst the animals, Varaha Dirupena, you appear as Varaha, etc. Drishu, amongst the humans, Rama Dirupena, as Rama, etc. Rishishu, amongst the sages, you appear as Vamana Dirupena, as Vaman, etc. Yadahasu, amongst the aquatics, Matsya Dirupena, you appear as Matsya, etc. So then, she says, Naravidambanam Ati Ascharyam Ityam. Your human pastime, amongst all these pastimes, all, the, all these pastimes are very surprising. But your Naravidambana, your pastimes as humans are Ati Aschari, extremely surprising. Iti Ahan Gopi Iti. So the verse is, Gopya Dade Tva Ikritaga Siddhava Tavad Yate Dashashru Kalilanjana Sambramaksham Paktram Niniya Bhayabhava Nayasthitasya Samam Vimoha Yatibhira Piyadvi Bheti Gopi Adade Mother Yashoda, she is Gopi. Adade, she tied you. You, Tvai Kritagasi, who had committed an offense of breaking the pots. How did she tie me? Dama, using a rope. Tavad, at that time, Yate Dasha, that situation which you exhibited, that pitiable, pitiful situation. What was the pitiful situation? Ashru Kalila Anjana Sambramaksham. Uh, you were crying and because of that, your eyes were smeared with Anjana, with Kajal and Sambrama and they were filled with fear, Aksham, those eyes of yours. Vaktram Niniya and you were bowing your head down. Bhaya Bhavanaya Sitasya and you are situated there filled with fear. Samam Vimoheti. That puts me into great, you know, amazement. It, that puts me, actually, it, it puts me into great uh, infatuation. Why? Because so actually, even fear fears you. But you are standing there in fear of Yashoda. That is what causes me to experience the greatest infatuation. So, Gopi Yashoda, Sridhar Swami says. Toi Kritagasi Dadi Bhanda Spotanam Pritavati. So, you had committed an offense. You had broken the you know, yogurt pot. Yavad Dama Rajum Adade, when she you know, tied you with a rope, Jagraha, when she tied you, Tava Takshanam Eva, at that exact moment, Yate Dasha Avastha, the situation in which you were there, Samam Vimohaya, that puts me into great delusion, you know, great delusion. Kim Bhutasya, how was I situated? She says, Ashrubihi Kalilam Vyamishram Anjanam Yayus. So, you know, Ashrubihi Vyam, so, uh, uh, that Anjana, Kajal, was you know, mixing with the tears. And they sambramena vyakule akshini yasnins. And those tears were coming out from the you know, eyes of, uh, the two eyes of yours, which were, uh, uh, which were extremely fearful. Tad vaktram nini adha kritva, and you have bowed down your head. Tad yishyati iti bhayasya bhavanaya My mother will beat me. And therefore, you were situated there with great fear. Yad yata swato bhirapi swayam bhiveti tasya tedasha. Even fear is afraid of you, but still you attained such a situation of fearfulness. This is what surprises me the most. So, this is the verse by Sinti Maharani. So, Siddhar Swami introduces the next verse. Atta eva jagan mohanataya durge yatva tava janmadi bahuda varna yanti ti aha. 
Ata therefore Jagan Mohanataya. Not only me, you put the entire world into infatuation. You surprise everyone. Durge Yatvat. And because it's very difficult to know you. Tava Janmadi Bahudha Varnayan. Why do you take birth, etc.? It's described in many ways by the many sages. Iti aha, this is spoken. Kechid iti chatur bihi in four verses beginning with Kechid. So 32, 33, 34, 35. Kechid ahur ajam jatam punya shloka sikirtaye yadho priyasyan babaye malayasye vachandanam. Kechid ahur. Some people say ajam jatam, the unborn was born. Punya shloka sikirtaye for the kirti, for the glorification, for glorifying punya shloka. Punya shloka means that uh, Punya Shloka means Yudhishthir, who is glorified in choices verses, or it can also mean Maharaj Yadu. So Yadoho Priyasya Anvavaya. You were born in that in the Anvavaya, in the lineage of that dear Yadu Maharaj. Just as Malayasyeva Chandanam, just as sandalwood is born in the Malaya hills to increase the glory of the Malaya hills. Similarly, you were born in Yadu Maharaj's dynasty to increase the glory of Yadu Maharaj. Shridhar Swami says, Purnya Shloka Sya Yudhishthira Sikirte. First option is Purnya Shloka means Yudhishthira to increase the glory of Yudhishthira. Or Yadoreva Kirta Ye Itiva or to increase the glory of Yadu. Both options can be taken. Take any one. Malayasya Kirta Ye Vamshe Chandanam Yatha. So, just as in the family of Malaya, the sandalwood takes birth to increase its uh, fame. Similarly, you appeared as the fragrant sandalwood, you know, in the dynasty of Yadu. So, this is another very nice verse. So, some people say you appeared just to glorify Yadu Maharaj. This is the first opinion. Second opinion. Apare vasu devasya devakyam yachito bhyagat. Ajasvam asya kshemaya vadhaya cha surat vusham. Apare, others say that Vasudevasya devakyam. So, Vasudevasya devakyam. So, Vasudevasya, Vasudev, Vasudev's wife, devakyam, in her womb, Abhyagat, you appeared. Why? Because Yachitaha. They asked you two births ago as Prishni and Sutapa. They asked a benediction. So because of that, you appeared. Although Ajaswam, you are Aja, you are unborn. Asya Kshemaya. So you appeared for the deliverance of Vasudev. Vadhaya Cha Suradvisham. And for killing the demons who are envious of the saintly people. So some other people say that you appeared because Vasudev and Devaki had begged for you to appear. So you appeared for their protection and for killing the demons. So, Tatha Vasudevasya Bharyayam Devakyam Aja Evatvam Abhyaga. So, in Vasudev's wife Devaki, you appeared although you are unborn. Putratvam Iti Sheshah. So, which means you became your, their son. Prathama Purushas to Arshah. So, here is Ajasvam. Actually, it should be Ajatvam. This Ajas, this Ajas is in Sanskrit. Uh, nominative, uh, it is Pratham Purush, first person. So actually, it should be second person, but it is first person. Therefore, Arshah, it is, uh, you know, a rare Vedic usage and uh, uh, it cannot be explained easily by grammar rules. Instead of Ajastvam, Sridhar Swami says, Arbhatvam iti pathaha sugamaha. It is better to take the reading Arbhatvam. Uh, so you Took upon the role of being their child. That is what will be the interpretation. Tabhyam eva purvam sutapaha prishni rupabhyam yachitahasa. Because by both of them in, in their previous forms as prishni and sutapa, you know, you were requested to appear as their son. Asya jagatha kshemaya. Asya means for the protection of this world, not only of Vasudev, but also of this world. Now, some other people say some other purpose. Bharavatarana yanye bhuvo nava ivodatau sidantya guri bharena jato yatma bhuvarchitaha. Bharavatarana 
अन्य अन्य अदर पीपल से भार अवतारणाय और रिमूविंग द बर्डन ऑफ द अर्थ यू अपियर्ड नाव इवो दीदंत्या भूरी भारेण तो बिकॉज द अर्थ हैड बिकम लाइक अ बोट अ वीक बोट इव उदधव इन एन ओशियन सीदंत्या who was trembling huri bharena due to excessive weight if there is a weak boat in an ocean you know and filled with excessive luggage that boat start trembling so similarly the earth was trembling because she was also experiencing great burden of demoniac things so for removing that bhara avataranaya for removing that burden अन्य सम पीपल से दैट यू अपियर्ड जा तो ही आत्म भुवार्थिड बिकॉज आत्म भुव ब्रह्मा द सेल्फ बॉर्न अर्थित यू नो प्रेड टू यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द अर्थ श्रीधर स्वामी से आत्म भुव इति ब्रह्म प्रार्थना से प्राधान्य विवक्ष है सो बिकॉज ब्रह्मा प्रेड टू यू सो दैट सीम्स टू बी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टंट रीजन फॉर सम अदर पीपल so so this is another opinion so see the same lord different different people give different different reasons for his appearance भवेस्मिन अविद्या काम कर्म करिष्यन्निति केचन मतांतरम so another opinion भवेस्मिन भवे in this material world क्लिश्यमानाम those who are suffering suffering due to what avidya kama karma we due to ignorance due to material desires due to the bond of karma people are suffering so for those who are suffering shravana smarana arhani so to perform past times which are worthy of being heard and remembered karishyan iti kechana so for while for performing this these past times you appeared so that people can be delivered of their anxieties and troubles in this material world so shridhar swami says paramananda swarup agyanam avidya so avidya means paramananda swarup agyanam the lack of knowledge of your real nature which is full of bliss avidya tato dehadi abhimanat kamas that agyan is nothing but uh, you know avid, uh, that avidya and avidya tato from that avidya is born dehadi abhiman dehadi abhiman means you know the false ego that i am this body and from that is born kama material desires tatah karmani from that is born karma so avidya leads to kama desires desires lead to karma so all of this cause klesha great uh, great trouble uh, trouble or suffering so those who are suffering in this world ha tai hi klishya manana for those suffering people tan nivritte for removing those sufferings shravana adi arhani karmani karishya you performed those past times which are worthy of hearing and remembering then uh, uh, kunti maharani श्रवणादी what is the fall what is the result of hearing and remembering these past times shrinvanti gayanti grinantya bhikshna shah smaranti nandanti tave hitam jana ta eva pashyanti chirena tavakam bhava pravaho paramam padam bhujam shrinvanti people who hear gayanti who sing uh, grinanti who chant abhikshna shah uh, continuously smaranti remember those who remember nandanti those who take pleasure in tava ihitam your past times jana all those people ta eva pashyanti achirena they quickly see tavakam your padam bujam your lotus feet which is bhava pravaho paramam 
which stops the flow of material existence. Your load, they quickly see your lotus feet, and that quickly stops the flow of material existence. So, Nandanti, Nandanti means they take great pleasure in. Sridhar Swami says, Nandanti Anyehi Kirtyamanam Abhinandanti. When other people chant, they experience great happiness. Ye jana, those people, Ihitam Charitam, so all your pastimes. Tavakam Tvadiyam Padam Bujam Ta Eva Pashyanti. They, only those people see your lotus feet. Achirayne Vaiti, Sarvatra Avadharana. They quickly see. Sarvatra. Uh, those who hear, those who sing, those who remember, all of them quickly see. Kidrisham, hmm? what is the nature of your lotus feet? Bhava Pravahasya, Janma Paramparaya, Janma Paramparaya, Uparamo, yes, means that. So, your lotus feet are such that they completely stop the flow of repeated birth and death. So, this is the nature of your lotus feet. So, Karuna Chaitanya Prabhu, I want to ask, do we have some more time, 10-15 minutes, or should I pause here? Um, yes, Prabhu, we do have. Uh, can continue, please. Okay, so that uh, till 43, I can finish them today. So, we'll have studied word by word. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. Please continue. Okay. Now, he has described so many reasons for Krishna's appearance. Now, Kunti Maharani says, Idani. Now, tava asmat parityago anuchita. Now you are giving us up, you are going away anuchita. It's not, you know, it's not good. Iti ashayena aha, api iti chaturbhi. So it's not good that you are leaving us. It's not justified. She, she says this in the in four verses beginning with api. So api is verse number 37, 37, 38, 39, 40. Apyadhyanastvam svakrite hita prabhu jiha sasi svit surido nuji vinaha yesham na chanya bhavata padam bujak parayanam rajasu yojitam hasam apyadhyanastvam api adhya still today nastvam you know all of us you are svakrite hita prabhu o prabhu o svakrita ihita you know Oh, you who manifest your own pastimes. Jihasasi, you are giving us up. Uh, Swit, for what purpose? Suhrido, no jivina. We are your near and dear one. Suhrido, no jivina. We live because of you. Yesham, na chanyat. We are such that we have nobody else. Na chanyat. Bhavataha pada ambujat besides your lotus feet. Parayanam. We have no nobody else. Rajasu Yojitam Hasam. Especially after we have, you know, become such bitter enemies with all the kings. Uh, we who have become bitter enemies with all the kings because of fighting wars with them. We have nobody except you as our shelter. So you are going for what reason? Oh Krishna. She says, Shridhar Swami explains, Hey Prabhu, oh Lord. Suhrido atis nigdhan anujivinascha. We are extremely near and dear to you. We live because of you. Naha adhyapi kim svitvam jihasasi. For what reason are you giving us up? Yesham asmakam anyat parayanam naivasti. We have no other shelter. Tatputaha. Why? Rajasu yojitam amho dukham yaistesham. Because. <clears throat> We have put other kings into great trouble. You know. Swanam kritam ihitam apekshitam yena tasya sambodhanam. So, swakrite hita. So, this swakrite hita is actually an address to the Supreme Lord. O oh Krishna, you perform your own pastimes by your own will. Visarganta pathe tvam pada visheshanam. Now, sometimes. Instead of Swakrite Hita, it is Swakrite Hitaha. An extra H aha, is there. If that is there, then it is an adjective of the term Vam. So, but that is not the reading here. The reading is Swakrite Hita. So, that is an adjective of Prabhu. Okay. So, the sum and substance of the verse is Why are you giving up on us? Because we have nobody else to depend upon, especially now that we have made enemies with so many kings.
if krishna asks a question sridhar swam says no no krishna says if krishna says tava bandhavo yadavah your relatives are the yadus putrascha pandavah your sons are the pandavas shuraha they are extremely capable samarthascha completely fills Uh, you know capable in all ways tat kim karpanyam bhashase so why are you expressing such you know weakness ata ah for this reason she says kevayam iti kevayam nam rupabhyam yadubi sah pandava bhavato darshanam yarhi urshikanam iveshituhu kevayam nam rupabhyam so what is Now, what is the use of our name and our form and all our prosperity you know yadu bihi sah pandava you know all the yadus along with the pandavas what is the use if bhavato adarshanam if you disappear yarhi rishi kanam iveshitu your disappearance for the yadus and the pandus will be like rishi kanam Eva ishi to who, just like the condition of the dead senses after the living entity has left the body. So similarly, we will be like the dead senses after you have left all of us. So what will be the use of our nama, our names, our you know our fame, rupa, our forms, our existence? So what is the use of the name and form and existence of the senses once the living entity has left the body? There is no use. Similarly, what will be the use of our being Pandavas and Yadus and all that glory if you are not with us? So here he, because Bhavato Adarshanam Yada from Asman na Pashasi. So when you will disappear, when you know, when you will no longer see us, tada nama rupa abhyam namna vikhyatya rupa na samradhya cha. so by our great name and by our great prosperity yadubihi pandava nam kevayam what will we be na kepi we will be nothing ati tuchha will be extremely insignificant in the earth this is the meaning rishi kanam indriyanam ishitur jivasya adarshane yatha na kinchin nam ach rupam chat just as senses the dead senses after the jiva leaves the body So there is no meaning to the name and form of the senses similarly not only us even this entire earth will become meaningless this is what she says in the next verse neyam shobhishate tatra yathedanin gadadhar tvatpadairankita bhati svalakshana vilakshitai neyam shobhishate this earth will no longer look prosperous तत्र यथा इदानीम जस्ट एज इट इज लुकिंग प्रॉस्परस नाउ गदाधर ओ विल्डर ऑफ द यू नो गदा ऑफ द मेस तत्पदैरंकिता भाति स्वलक्षण विलक्षितै बिकॉज नाउ शी इज मार्क विथ योर लोटस फीट यू नो एंड लक्षण विलक्षितै शी दीस लोटस फीट आर वेरी स्पेशल बिकॉज दीस लोटस फीट आर अगेन मार्क्ड विथ स्पेशल Uh, signs such as uh, bow such as lotus etc so that earth is marked with your lotus feet and the lotus feet are marked with more auspicious signs therefore this earth is you know appearing very beautiful but when your lotus feet will not be marked on her then what will be the you know beauty of this earth then she will have no beauty kimcha moreover yatha idanim just to, like it is today iam asmat palya bhumi this earth which is being you know taken care of by us swair asadharanair vajra kushang dibhir lakshanair vilakshitai chinnitai she is marked with those very beautiful special decorative marks such as vajra such as ankusha elephant god you know such as uh, lotus etc tvat padai rankita sati bhati she is marked with your lotus feet tatra tada tvai nirgate but when you go away sati na shobhishyate she will not attain you know any prosperity or good fortune when you go away then she says ime janapada svridha supakpa ushadi virudha 
Vanadriyadvanto Yedante Tava Vikshitai. Today, Ime Janapada, all these cities, Svridha are, you know, they are blooming because of you. They're prospering because of you. Supakva Aushadi. All the medicinal herbs are growing and you know blooming today. Virudha, all the trees, Vana Adri, forests, mountains, Nadi, the rivers, Udanvanto, the oceans, Yedhante, they are all prospering. Why? Because Tava Vikshitai, because you are looking, because of your glances, they are prospering today. Shridha Swami says, Apecha Ime Janapada Desha Svridha Su Samridha Sampar. All these cities are prosperous today because of your glancing. Then Shridhar Swami introduces the next verse. Gamane Pandavanam Akushalam. If Krishna goes away, then the Pandavas will be unhappy. A Gamane Cha Yadavanam. If Krishna doesn't go away, then the Yadavas will be unhappy. Iti Ubhayato Vyakula Chitta. In both cases, Kunti will be unhappy because Kunti is related to the Pandavas as well as Yadavas. Sati Teshu Sneha Nivrittim Prathe. So Krishna, please relieve me of attachment to both families. This, she is praying in this verse. Atha Vishvesha Vishvatman Vishvamurte Svakeshume Sneha Parshami Mamchindi Dridham Pandushu Vrishnishu Atha, now Vishvesha O oh, Lord of the Universe, Vishvatman, O oh, Super Soul of the Universe, Vishvamurte, O oh, Personification of the Universe, Swakeshu Me Sneha Pasham Imam Chindi. You know, in my own relatives, Sneha Pasham, these bonds of attachment, Chindi, cut them away. Dridham, although they are very hard knots, still cut these knots, Pandushu, Vrishnishu which are firmly rooted in the Pandava family and in the Vrishni family. Please cut away all these knots of me. So, Vishvesha Ityadi Sambodhanani. So, she is calling out Vishvesha Vishpatman, Vishwamurte. All these calling out is Sneha Pasha Chede Samarthya Kyapanaya. Is to remind him that you are completely capable of, you know, uh, completely capable of destroying all these bonds. Dridam Santam. They are all very tight bonds. So please destroy them all. Okay. Tataha Kim Iti Ata Aha. If I destroy all your bonds, then where will you invest your mind and heart and consciousness? Iti Aha Tvai. So she replies. Tvai Venanya Vishraya Matir Badupate Sakrit Pratim Udbahat Adadha Gangai Vaugham Udanvati. Tvai Me Ananya Vishraya Matir. In you, let my mati, let my intelligence be ananya vishaya, one-pointed. Madhupate, O Lord of Mathura, asakret, again and again, let my mind go towards you. Ratim udvahatad, may my prati, may my love flow towards you. Adha, certainly. You know, Gangai augham udanyuti, just as the Ganga, who is overflowing, rushes towards the ocean, despite so many obstacles, she rushes towards the ocean. Similarly, let my mind and consciousness rush only towards you again and again. So, Ananya Vishaya Sati Me Mati. Let my consciousness be one-pointed without any other distractions. Ratim Udvahata. Let my love flow towards you. Anavachinnam Preeti Karo Tuiti Artha. So, let me exhibit unbroken love towards you. Ogham Puram. Just like Ganga, Yatha Ganga, which is overflowing, Pratibandham na Ganayati. She doesn't consider any obstacles. She just overflows. Eva Matirapi Vignan ma Ganayati. Similarly, let my mind also not see any obstacles. Let my mind overflow unto you again and again. Iti Bhava. This is the mode. And finally, the last verse of Kunti Maharani's prayers. Evam Abhyartha, Sridhar Swami says, having prayed this way, Punaha Pranamati. She once again gives a final pranam. Shri Krishna Krishna Thakavrishna Shabhavani Dhruv Rajan Yavamsha Dahanana Pavarga Virya Govinda Godvija Surarthi Haravatara Yogeshwara Kila Guru Bhagavan Namaste Shri Krishna, O Krishna, Krishna Sakha, a oh friend of Arjuna. Arjuna's name is also Krishna. Vrishni Rishabha, oh, topmost amongst Vrishnis. 
अवनी ध्रुग राजन्य वंश दहन ओ डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ दो किंग्स हु आर गिविंग ट्रबल टू द अर्थ अन अपवर्ग वीर्य सो ओ लॉर्ड हूज वैलर नेवर डिमिनिशियस गोविंद ओ गोविंद गो द्विज सुर अर्थ अर सुर आरती हर अवतार ओ लॉर्ड हुज अपियरेंस इज फॉर टेकिंग अवे द अनहैपीनेस ऑफ काउज ब्राह्मणस एंड डिवोटीज ओ योगेश्वर ओ मास्टर ऑफ ऑल मिस्टिक योग अखिल गुरु ओ गुरु ऑफ एवरी वन भगवान ओ लॉर्ड नमस्ते श्रीधर स्वामी एक्सप्लेन हे श्री कृष्ण ते नम ओ कृष्ण ओबेसू उपकारान अनुस्मरती बहुधा संबोधयती रिमेम्बरिंग मेनी फेवर्स शी इज अगेन एंड अगेन यू नो कॉलिंग आउट टू हिम कृष्ण सख मीन्स अर्जुन से सखे ओ फ्रेंड ऑफ अर्जुन वृष्णी ऋषभ मीन्स वृष्णी नाम ऋषभ श्रेष्ठ ओ ग्रेटेस्ट अमॉन्स्ट वृष्णी एंड अवनी ध्रुग राजन्य वंश दहन अवन्यय भूम्य ध्रुह्यंती दोज वर ट्रबलिंग द अर्थ ये राजन्यास दो किंग्स तेषा वंश से दहन यू सेट फायर टू देर लिनियज यू डिस्ट्रॉयड देर लिनियज एवं अभी अनपवर्ग वीर अक्षीण प्रभाव स्टील यू नो यू आर अक्षीण प्रभाव यू आर अन अपवर्ग वीर मीन्स युअर वैलर डिड नॉट रिड्यूस युअर स्ट्रेंथ डिड नॉट रिड्यूस गोविंद मीन्स प्राप्त काम धेनु ऐश्वर्य यू हैव अटेन्ड काम धेनु एंड अदर रिचेस फ्रॉम इंद्र यू आर गोविंद यू अटेन्ड काउज एक्सेट्रा एंड गो द्विज सुरार्थी हरा अवतार गो द्विज सुराणाम ऑफ द काउज ऑफ द ब्राह्मण ऑफ द डिवोटीज आरती हरो अवतारो यू आर द फॉर्म हू टेक्स अवे देर डिस्ट्रेस ओ योगेश्वर ओ अखिल गुरो ओ भगवान नमस्ते Finally, Suta Uvacha Suta Goswami continued. Prithaye tham kalapadai parano tad kilo daya mandam jahas vai kuntho mohayan nivamaya ya. Prithaya itham kalapadai so by pritha by kunti itham kalapadai parano ta. So he was parano ta. He was praised and glorified by kalapadai by these beautiful verses. Akilo daya. So he is, you know, Akila Udayo Mahima. Yes, he is Akila Udaya. He who all glory belongs to him. So he is Akila Udaya, all glorious. Mandam Jahas, that all glorious Lord smiled. Vaikuntho, that Lord of Vaikuntha, Mohayan Iba Maya, as if putting her into illusion through his yoga Maya. So he simply smiled back. तो श्रीधर स्वामी से कलानी मधुराणी पदानी येशु तईर वाक्य परिणूत सो बाय हर स्वीट वर्ड्स एंड यू नो बाय हर ग्लोरियस वर्ड्स ही वॉज परिणूत स्तुतो वॉज ग्लोरीफाइड अखिल उदय महिमा ये बिकॉज ऑल ग्लोरी इज एक्चुअली बिलोंग टू हिम श्रीधर स्वामी से नुस्तुता वित्यस्मा द वर्बल रूट इन परिणूत इज नुस्तुत द वर्बल रूट इज नुस्तुत परिणुतेत परिणुत इति वक्तव्य दीर्घ शब्द छंदो रोधेन Actually, it should be parinuta uh, with the small u. It's parinuta. Uh, it is with the long u. Dirgha shabda chando nuro dena is for maintaining the meter. Mandam jahasa. He mildly smiled. He shat. Tasya hasa eva maya. His smile itself is a feature of his yoga maya. Vakshati he ahead. Suta Goswami will say, "Aso janonma dakari chamaaya." His smile is actually it generates infatuation. Actually, his yoga Maya. So in this way, Kunti Maharani glorified Bhagwan Shri Krishna in so many verses, from verse number eighteen to verse number forty-three. I think there were around twenty-six prayers in Kunti Maharani's prayers. So once again, I would like to. Conclude here, beautiful, beautiful players by Kunti Maharani. I would like to conclude here by thanking uh, Karuna Chaitanya Prabhu for kindly inviting me, and uh, for Santosh Prabhu for you know kindly uh, introducing me 
and before i forget i have to also thank jay karan das prabhu for making the kind very nice beautiful video and uh, for all the devotees who are present here because uh, you are present here and listening so attentively thank you all of you dear devotees jagat guru shrila prabhupad ki jai hare krishna Hare Krishna, thank you so much, Hari Parshat Prabhu, for wonderful explanation of all the verses word by word. Um, I request all the participants to devotees to ask any questions or share um, their realizations. I've you can unmute yourself as well. Um, yeah, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hari Parshat Prabhu, this is Prajumna here. Thank you so much for giving us your association today and your wonderful time. It was thoroughly very, very nourishing. And thank you so much for giving us the association of uh, Srila Sridhar Maharaj and through his commentary and uh, thoroughly enlightening for us. Thank you so much for giving your time. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. It was absolutely wonderful class. And uh, I wish someday we hear all the verses of Bhagavatam in this manner from you. <laughs> Time for meeting, of course. Um, yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Uh, hope to hear from you soon. Uh, we'll be in touch with you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. you have so time. Much. Thank you. I would uh, request devotees if they have any suggestions, comments, questions, please come forward now. Oh, Hare Krishna Prabhu, uh, thank you for your enlightening class. Um, I just wanted to ask you, please, um, where, how can we access, are, are these uh, Sridhar Swami Maharaj's uh, um, commentaries accessible and how we can access them, please? Yes, if you, uh, I mean, if you want the original Sanskrit, then they are very easily accessible. I have uploaded Srimad Bhagavatam with uh, multiple commentaries on uh, a website named archive.org. So if you go to archive.org, I am showing you the screen. Sorry, archive.org. A-R-C-H-I-V. You see, this is archive. Archive.org. Okay. So, okay. And, and that you search for, Hari, uh, for Srimad Bhagavatam multiple commentaries so if you search for that then you will get all the cantos with multiple commentaries and uh, from canto 1 to canto 12 see this is Srimad Bhagavatam canto 1 with multiple commentaries you click on that once you click on that then you can download the pdf by right clicking and you can save it and then you will have access to it so all 12 cantos you can get in this way it has multiple these, commentaries. Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, the commentaries are in English or in Sanskrit? Sanskrit. So just as I showed in Sanskrit, all the commentaries are in Sanskrit. These are the commentaries. Sridhar Swami, Vamshidhar, Sri Radharaman Goswami, Veer Raghavacharya, Vijay Idvajdirtha, Jeev Goswami, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, Shukadeva Acharya, Vallabha Acharya, Purushottam Charan Goswami, Girdar Lal Goswami. 11 commentaries in a single volume. Okay. For those who cannot, cannot read Sanskrit, uh, what is the uh, available option? There's nothing in English translation. Only Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur's commentary is there. And I think Sri Jeeva Goswami's commentary has been translated into English. But okay. the on first the, on commentary... The same, yeah, on the same website? No, not on the same website. That you'll have to purchase. Also, okay, Vish and where, Vish how can we purchase? Where we can purchase? Where I think uh, Karuna Chaitanya Prabhu must be aware. You are aware, Prabhu, of the translation of Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur's commentary? Uh, no, Prabhuji, no. Okay, so it was an English translation was uh, published recently. It is called uh, Sarartha Darshini. So I will show on the screen Sarartha Darshini. Um, I'll just share my screen so that uh, you are able to see. Um, you see, uh, you can buy, buy Sarartha Darshini. 
sarar tadarshini by shri vishwanath chakravarti so all the volumes you'll have to buy it's you know, shrimad bhagavatam sarar tadarshini nine nine volumes you can buy okay so you can buy and you can uh, you know it is all the cantos have been translated in those volumes and this is by shila vishwana chakravarti taku yeah and the translator is you know, his only is banu maharaj the english translator so if you want something in english this is what we have right now okay thank you prabhu thank you very much Bhaktiman Prabhu, do you want to say something? Thank you, Prabhu, for the wonderful class. Um, these are very intense verses. They are very, it's very um, specific, um, specifically important verses, which are, which are found as seed verses as well. So thank you for thank you for the wonderful explanations, Prabhu. Um, so it's been very enlightening and wonderful insights. Thank you very much, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Okay, Prabhu. I think you know we'll we'll pause it here, and uh, yes, thank you, uh, thank you once again for kindly inviting me. Thank you, Prabhu, for uh, accepting our invitation and enlightening us, guiding us to uh, study Kunti Maharani's prayers. <clears throat> I will trouble you again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, thank, thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Yes, I'll take leave, Prabhu, ji, now. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.